The on-formed Celts then travelled to Ayrshire on Saturday to take on a Kilmarnock side who always proved to be tough opponents. After five minutes, the young hoops had a penalty claim as Kevin Colley's shot appeared to strike the hand of the Killy defender on its way into the net. But the referee turned away the appeals. Whether or not the offence was intentional, there can be no doubt that the young striker's shot was only heading in one direction and the Celts can count themselves unlucky. Spurred into further action by that decision, Colley tried his luck again with a good run and shot after 10 minutes. This time seeing his effort curve wide of the keeper's left hand post. As coach Willie McStay looked on, his side finally took the lead in bizarre circumstances after 22 minutes of the game. Some nervous play at the back by the hosts ended with Sean McGee's pass back to keeper Peter Logan being charged down by the on-rushing Killian Sheridan and rebounding into the net. The on-form striker has scored some fine goals recently, but he will welcome this one just as much. The keeper was perhaps a touch unfortunate and was unable to hide his frustration as his side went 1-0 behind. Two minutes later, it was the home side's turn to exert some pressure. After the initial cross was cleared, winger Paul Callaghan lost possession in a dangerous area. This allowed the Killy midfielder to force his way through another tackle before firing his shot in on goal. Only a good diving save by keeper Paul Skinner and a scrambled clearance by skipper Paul Caddis kept the scoreline at 1-0. After half an hour, a strong run and shot by left-back Danny Lafferty led to what the Celts thought was their second goal, again scored by Killian Sheridan. Unfortunately for the hoops, the big Irish striker was deemed to have been in an offside position and the goal was chopped off. As the second half kicked off, Celtic looked determined to add to their tally and immediately took the game to their opponents. Six minutes into the half, that man Sheridan was again involved and he took a neat cut back from Colley. Turning on the 18-yard line, he unleashed a vicious shot that was superbly turned around the post by keeper Logan. The speed of Sheridan's turn must have surprised the Killy defence and it was only down to Logan's efforts that they didn't find themselves 2-0 down. Two minutes later, as Celtic pushed to extend their lead, Kevin Colley's vision in the middle of the park sent Sheridan in on goal as the visitors broke up the park at pace. With still 40 yards to go, the prolific striker fired in a surprise shot from distance that was again saved well by Logan. Celtic finally sealed the points with five minutes to go. Again, Kevin Colley was heavily involved. He released Paul Caddis, who broke down the right wing and whipped a dangerous cross into the box. Waiting on the penalty spot was that man Killian Sheridan who only needed one touch to control the ball, then turned to fire in his and his side's second goal. It was just rewards for Sheridan as he'd been a constant threat to the Killy defence all day. His brace helped secure another three points for Celtic and was a great boost ahead of the first Old Firm encounter of the season, which was played yesterday. Your commentator is Brian.